what a great opportunity to be here. So Feroz, thank you very much for inviting, presenting with uh, this opportunity for sharing a little bit about my story. As you can see, I have polio, and uh, you heard about me working in the corporate world. Uh, I felt compelled to do something when you have seen all thanks to pe uh, people like Tom Harkins who changed America. So it is possible to change. And I'm a beneficiary. Lived here 30 years, 18 years in America. Everything that I have seen, I have been inspired. How can we change our own country? And believe me, I'm not the only person. And that's why I started this, and we'll have a uh, video uh, very shortly. So again, uh, let's go through that video, and I'll go through some maybe structured presentation uh, about what we are doing and how all of us, uh, have, you know, can we have shared many values, and uh, we'll talk about what we can do together. Can we play the video? Voice of SAP is a global team of volunteers who have come together to transform India's disability sector. We believe and we see opportunities in empowering specially able people. And we take this perspective and voice to the movers and shakers who can implement it. I have polio with both the legs. I am a polio survivor since the age of four. I am one of those fortunate people who could come to the US and live the life to the fullest, independent life, driving car, traveling anywhere in the country, working as a vice president in a large company. You know, I want same opportunities to be available in our country for seven crore people. I believe it can do that. And that's why I started Voice of SAP two years ago to execute this vision of transforming India, making it like America or any other developed countries when it comes to people with disability. In addition to that, knowing our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi since 1988 has helped a lot to get his attention to solve our problems in disability sector. I believe that in any family, especially if there is a child, it is not only the mother-in-law's duty. It is the whole society's duty. The Paramatma has probably उस परिवार को पसंद किया है, लेकिन वो बालक तो सारे राष्ट्र की जिम्मेवारी होता है। If each one of us, 120 crore Indians, realize that we are all temporarily abled, it's just a matter of one unfortunate moment where somebody meets with the accident, or even due to aging, many of us would face with the disability. So I believe it's a issue that all of us should come together to solve. Look at untapped human resource potential that is already being leveraged by some smart business people like Lemon Tree Hotel. That has become their mainstream hiring strategy. People with disability are hired to become competitive in the marketplace. So if you are a business person, you should also look at this option of hiring, employing people with disability. If you are an entrepreneur or an innovator, somewhere from Bangalore or Silicon Valley, you are looking for opportunities. Let me give you an idea. Assistive technology field growing very fast globally, especially because of the UN treaty that 160 countries are now pouring their resources into this sector. It's an estimated $60 billion market by year 2020. If you are a politician, here is a huge population that has been ignored for decades. Seven crore people in India. And when you consider the family of average five per family, it's around 30% India's population that you can directly connect to if you start focusing on helping people with disability. So far, we have sensitized hundreds of leaders with a goal of reaching out to 1,000 plus leaders who may be bureaucrats, who may be corporate leaders, 
may be elected leaders or social leaders. We have also inspired hundreds of volunteers across 10 states and several cities in the US to take this as their own mission to make it accessible and inclusive. I have come across several worthy causes, but when I came to know about Voice of SEP, then I decided to make it as my life mission. For me, it's been really fulfilling as a volunteer. Uh, it's also, I can also see the impact and the outreach and the initiatives that have already been started in India because of Voice of SOP. We proposed Accessible India campaign in 2014, July, August time frame and very fortunate to have worked with them and now it is implemented across the country by Government of India. I just want to say before saying the winner that we need to make every single thing accessible to every single person with a disability. The time is right now. There are four very important aspects that one has to look at. Technology available, resources available. Young India, 65% population is below age of 35. Any social change is lot more easier to be adopted by the society when the population is young. And you know the most important thing? Political will. I urge all of you to come together, join Voice of SAP, bring your strength, thought leadership, resources. We have ample things to do to bring the dignity to seven crore people's life in India. And of course, the happiness to effectively 35 crore people in India. And that's the opportunity. Let's seize this together. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, and the opportunity seems like uh, we are all together. We are going to seize it in our capacity. So I'll start with the presentation. As you can see the first slide, uh, we are not talking about uh, you know, negative or the suffering or those type of things, but we are very much focused on what is, when you do the advocacy, we are our advocacy organization. What is in for you? And that's why you will see some uh, you know, financial picture because, you know, people have traditional mindset that disability means they can't do something or it's money that we'll have to spend. No, there are opportunities. We just saw the fashion show that can be a great market for those products. And likewise, there are, you know, smart people who are leveraging the strength of people with disability. And that's what we have to go, uh, you know, and harness further. Uh, in the agenda, in our you know, uh, perspective, accessibility is the root cause for you know, issues with the inclusion. So we'll talk about it. What is our approach, uh, our vision, what is our inspiration, and key achievements are in our journey in last three years. And call to action. Everyone can do certain things, and I'll show you what you can do from your fingertips. Actionable advocacy, and that's what we will talk about. So, you know, many of us know, if not, it's a, according to WHO, one billion plus population is considered people with disability. Majority of these people are left behind because the world is built around for the able people. As simple as that. It is not built around for people with disability. So there is a work to be done. There is business case to be made. There is a heart to be touched of people. And that's why, you know, uh, we, have, we are all here. Uh, except for few countries like America, Access is the issue. So what happens, as you can all imagine, if the child is not able to go to the school because of having access issue, by design, he's unemployable. By design, the society has created overhead. It's not his ability or inability. And here I am. Uh, I was fortunate to have engineering, MBA, all those you know, education and career opportunities in the US, and I'm vice president. So it is not the... Uh, perceived uh, limitation, it's the ability that everybody has, we have to just give the opportunity by giving access as a society. Uh, and uh, as we know, because of not having access, most of the issues are there, which, you, which we are trying to change. Uh, here, UNCRPD, which many of you know, but the world is changing. 160 countries have signed 
to ratify the provisions to make independent living of people with disability. That's a historic moment. So believe me, this issue will be resolved because now, because of efforts of people like Tom, it has been noticed by the whole world that it has to change. And that's why UN is behind it. Every country is working on it. In India also, we see a lot of things like Accessible India campaign, new law that we have got now, RPD 2016, and uh, technology solutions also. So our approach, uh, as you can see, ability-centric social repositioning. So we call specially able people, able people, not disabled. Some people might have debate issues, why this not disabled, why not different able. We are very, very clear. We want to focus on special ability because everyone has some amount of special ability. Let us focus on that. That's the foundation of our entire advocacy. There are five different pillars to achieve the goal of inclusive society with empowered, specially able people. So each one of the pillars we are working uh, with our, you know, First, first, first pillar, as you can see, 2,400 volunteers globally. I'm very happy that people in America, 900 volunteers, they are looking for doing something for the motherland. And this is the platform. This is the opportunity. They are all coming together. So that is the and 18 chapters for, you know, because they are thought leaders, financially very capable, all of that. And, 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 and we want to create that, you know, uh, change makers. All these volunteers are change makers in this society. The second pillar is our mobile app because you know we need something to act. So uh, we are, and we'll talk about it later on, but we have a, mo a mobile app that everyone you can download, V-O-S-A-P, uh, on App Store or Play Store. It is creating an accessibility database that will be used by everybody in the society with star rating. If it does not have access, then you know you can do it complain it to the authorities, share it on Facebook. So basically, creating accessibility database can be done by each one of us. So that is the, you know, creating a mass movement. We talk somewhere, mass movement is important. We believe that using technology, I wish Chris could be here, but using technology, we are trying to change the world and solve this problem. And because everybody can become change maker in the community. Uh, mass awareness, like this event, media, we have a lot of events in America also, here also. Uh, so, so bring people, make aware. On our mobile app, you will find lots of solutions. From 3D printing from UK volunteer to other solutions that you will find from US on the assistive technology. So that is important. Because this will not happen overnight. You will have to spread awareness, spread hope, let people work, let people do innovation. And that is India's opportunity. Because India has that skill manpower to bring the price down that Tom was talking about. $200 became nothing. Why? Because of the massive scale and innovation. India has the population, just needs to be innovative for Indian conditions. Uh, partner strategy, we work with partners. Then top-down approach. That is the very important thing. because. Anything that you have to change, you have to have top-down support. So we do advocacy with not only, as you saw, with the government of India, but also with corporations, multiple comp corporations that we are inspiring as what they can do in this uh, journey. Because they can bring the law and policies and all that. Uh, vision, I don't want to read it, but basically we have talked all these days, uh, all these, uh, you know, that everybody can do something. Let's create that uh, environment and that's what we want to achieve. Uh, inspiration, my life's, uh, you know, personal story, uh, experience in the U.S. Uh, prime Minister is so supportive. I'm, f I'm happily saying that I have met him four times as a Prime Minister. Uh, not only bringing Accessible India campaign or the seven manifesto commitment, which are now Government of India's promise, or even lately the uh, disability bill that was last year when I met him. Within six hours, it was pending with him for some reason. Within six hours, it was approved. And then one month, every approval, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha, Gazette, President's signature. So that is possible. He is such a, he celebrated his birthday with 11,000 specially able people. The only prime minister, I think, in the world who would have give, taken this initiative such a big way. That should be noted. So that is the opportunity. And that's why we are getting more and more encouraged. Let's do something. Uh, and, and that's where, you know, uh, with all the volunteers and mobile app, we see there's a tremendous opportunity with the mobile app, uh, Chris also told, and we are focusing, we are building a robust infrastructure of technology so that everybody can participate. Uh, this is the journey. Uh, all blue boxes, are, it's very crowded, but the intention here is that we have emerged in last three years as a credible uh, uh, player, as a thought leader in the disability sector. Uh, with uh, you know all the achievements that are you know here and 
who, those who are interested will share the presentation also. Call to action, quickly I want to touch upon this. Every corporate leader that is present here, I request them to commit a long-term CSR strategy and vision, engage the employees, because the change will happen. Yesterday we had a good session, how to bring the change, how to bring inclusiveness. You know, corporate, if they decide, uh, let's say Pankaja Madam has done a fantastic job, a possible option I'm just proposing, that if she can have every volunteer download this mobile app and start creating that accessibility database in their locality, in their in the neighborhood, it will create a big awareness at every employee level, every community. There are, we are targeting 100 large companies to have executive sponsor commit to that. And then in a phase, so second step is promote the inclusive practices. There is an evolution, right? You, you engage employees. Everybody is knowing, oh, if there is no ramp, why there is no ramp? That's how you will start thinking about disability or inclusiveness through the accessibility. The second point is you yourself will create accessible offices. I, I do not know how many of corporate leaders sitting here can say that 100% of my offices are accessible. Just go and see why it is not. I know there is a money, but that's where create the structure, environment, that even CFO will say, okay, you know, this is the right thing to do. Let's spend that even in the phase manner, three years. Let's make our factories and offices accessible. Then employee participation and hiring of people, because hiring is a great, great, great thing, but it doesn't happen overnight. You have to create the culture. People should be supporting. Environment should be there. So that's the third point. And the final thing, then, yes, you can go for larger CSR initiatives. So we promote this thing with uh, multiple, like Arvind Mills, Adani. I was in Ahmedabad. Uh, I'm, I'm on next Wednesday with Tikona Wireless, 4,000 employees. They are launching it company-wide. All employees will be encouraged to start the first point. Uh, spread the awareness. In our mobile app, everybody can take a pledge. You know, taking pledge is a very simple thing, no money. Take a pledge that I will do something. If you are individual, you have your template, just check mark. Corporate leader, your, your check mark. Entertainer, bureaucrats, elected leaders, you all can take some pledge. Have that empathy that we have been talking about. That you know, I need to do a little bit. Even without money, if you take a pledge, that means you are part of the community. And that's what I encourage all of you here, sitting here, download the app, send the link to all of your friends, have a million people take a pledge, then the social change is bound to happen. Would you agree with that? And, 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 and at the last point I would like to say is, we know 28,000 crore rupees. Tom, India is the country where 2% of the corporate profit is supposed to be spent on corporate social responsibility. And that it is 28,000 crore, which is roughly around $3 billion, not bad. We have to tap that, so money is there. So uh, we believe that opportunity exists today with young India, resources, technology, willpower, with such a great you know, uh, interest of all of us. Let's see this together. Any question or otherwise? <clears throat> nice talking to you and uh, sharing our passion. Yeah.